All right, so a little funny fact. Uh, the new diseases and some other stuff are actually glitches and there's a lot of glitches in the new diseases themselves so they're not working correctly it has been notified the dev update channel on the facility or play discord but yeah in this video i will describe every single change in upgrade 3.0 so yeah have fun watching all right so this is the main menu from now on we have to press the start button to proceed further to the menu and the settings in it. There's a pretty nice music in the background, so the basic music of the facility roleplay. The play section has changed. From now on we are basically being forced to play as a, a research subject if we don't change the team manually. To change the team we press the change team button and we are able to change the team as expected. The level has been moved from right top corner to left to bottom corner. I mean moved. It's still in the right corner but it's also in the left bottom corner. Which is quite nice. From now on you can see your blinks and money more clearly. The bio entry GFX also looks pretty nice on the right side. From now on there's an option to play with friends which allows you to invite your friends directly from the game and referral page which from what I can see doesn't do anything. The credits menu did not really change, I did not notice any changes. In the settings from now on instead of entering a value you have bars and more visible checkbox. The entire UI looks much cleaner, much more professional and I'm pretty sure that's an improvement. The store haven't changed and the updates is, well, just updates. Like. Alright, so, test subject clothing hasn't changed. From now on it's like darker green. Mm. The housing overwatch clothing has been completely revamped. From now on they have very cool gloves. They just stand out, they look pretty cool. Alright, so biohazard containment unit has got a new morph. They now have this cool hazmat suit. It's pretty fitting for the biohazard containment unit, you know, it just looks dripping. Did veteran? I don't have veteran. Okay, time to unlock veteran. Uh, buy perm. 12 blanks. Wow, I wasted money. The veteran handler has the... has a new backpack, however, he doesn't have the hazmat suit anymore. So, he has the old gas mask. The last one on the list is the Dare Evil. The Dare Evil squad has an entirely different uniform from others. <sighs> Basically, what they did here is they gave BCU Dare Evil NVG. If I'm not mistaken, there's no other in game division which has night vision goggles. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no other one. Alright, the evil squad from now gets a flamethrower. The flamethrower model presents like this. It's pretty cool. The animation of holding is not that accurate. However, it's still pretty good for Roblox. The flamethrower consists of four magazines, four fuel tanks, which is indicated in the left bottom corner. Each tank has 100% of fuel. The flamethrower currently has no audio and the fuel goes off pretty quick. F in the flamethrower ammo menu means it's full. Then we got two third, after two third we got one third, and after reloading one third we got empty which is our last tank which is in total of four tanks. The thing is, inside of the BCU spawn which I'll be showing you right now, there is located a tank which will allow you to refill the flamethrower tanks. The flamethrower is mainly used to fight off the new viruses and bacteries which are located in advanced containment zone which I'll show you later on in this video. Here is the tank, you hold E and it has been refilled. Alright, so the flamethrower is capable of setting people on fire like this. The fire does pretty good damage, however, just setting the person on fire will not kill them. The flamethrower damage is 
Well, um, overpowered. You can't say it's not. <laughs> also, reloading the flamethrower will cause you to lose the tank which you had already in. You will not gain the tank back. The flamethrower does f uh, 50 damage per shot. And it's basically bypassing the armor, from what I can see. I'm not sure about this one, I didn't check it, I didn't verify it. But it looks like it bypasses the armor. Alright, Centrum Security got new morphs. Well, that's how the security measure in the basic security presents. Pretty cool, better than the old one. The Season Security, however, it has a pretty cool helmet. It doesn't have a hat anymore, so they do have hat protection. I mean, it's pretty helpful when Season Security job is basically guarding HRs, like AC4 and AC8, uh, AX. The Special Tactics morph has been changed. I actually dislike the change, because the face shield which was placed down was looking much better when it's placed up. So, in my opinion, that's a little downgrade. However, the entire morph is still looking very good. Very intimidating. Alright, so the CIT, the Critical Intervention Unit Morph, have changed a little bit, graphically a little bit improved. Alright, disregard what I said about Daredevil. Seasoned operatives from now on get NVG. However, the NVG both for Daredevil and Special Operations, which is CIT, cannot be activated. Alright, so currently, in the current version of the game, 3.0 on the release, this is how the Rapid Control team looks like. Basically, they have no morph. The morph is glitched. <laughs> well, I can't really present anything more, as this is the only thing I can work with. Alright, so they have added food to the cafeteria. From this locker, you must take the soap block and place it in here. When you place it in here, it will start cooking. After it cooks, you can eat it. It will be after a short cut because it takes a longer while. Alright, our food is ready, which is signaled by the green bar. We can take it by holding E. And we got whatever this is, cooked soup block. At this point, I have no clue what I can do with that. Um, so yeah, if you know what to do with it, feel free to leave a comment down below. Alright, so right now I got the BIIR10 virus, or it was bacteria, I'm not sure at this point. I found it in advanced. You know what's the problem? BCU, biological research, none of these has access. To this door. This door is just permanently closed and I was only able to get in here on facility oversight. And right now I'll show you in the experimentation area how does work because you can't really use the advanced zone. There's just nothing to insert there. Alright, I got the BIBI22 which is the bloody virus. That's how I call it, you call it whatever you want. Right now I'll show you how it works in practic. So yeah, this will be fun. Okay. Alright, so now I'll be placing the BIBI22 inside the chamber and we are gonna glass our overwatch once again. Oh, it looks pretty cool when it's inserted. Basically what this virus does, it will cause you to cough blood along with losing your blood when coughing it. It will leave blood on the floor. And if you do enter the blood, you have 10% chance, exactly 10%, to get infected. You'll also get like pretty red on the face, you know. Not a cool virus to have on you. And let's see, will I get lucky? Blood, infect me. Sir Cat, would you like to cough on me pretty please? <clears throat> cough on me. Oh, there you go. I am infected now. 
Now let's see me uh, lose my blood. <coughs> Alright, so while I am losing the blood, <coughs> uh, I would like to describe one specific mechanic. Uh, the water at gym refills stamina. This has been in a game for a longer while. However, it wasn't written anywhere. They finally wrote it. So yeah, it does refill your stamina. Which is pretty interesting. As you can see, my screen, the screen gets pretty red, pretty blurry. I'm slowly losing my blood. And you're gonna die eventually. Not sure how did I just get 1.5 blank for playing, but sure game, we can go with that. Uh, the BIBI22, so the virus which I'm currently infected with, can be located in here. Not in advanced, it's located over here, near the bio storage. So yeah, that, that's just pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, so there's another change to the test subject. From now on, if you move too far from your host, so the person who authorized you, you will get unauthorized. This is a very good change, as before, you would get authorized, and until the scientist is alive, you're free to roam the facility unless someone else unauthorized you. Now we just got to deal with people randomly unauthorizing you without any reason and then killing you like it happened multiple times for me. Ah, uh, yeah, this should be heavily limited. <laughs> Alright, so, in the patch notes, it's written that there are some team perks which has been added. I have no clue what the team perks are, They're, it's not written when selecting team, so I assume I will figure it out eventually and then I'll let you know. However, for now, I have no clue, I'm just saying that there are such things as team perks. Oh, about the drinks, they can only be used once, like the water, you know, pretty interesting, right? Alright, so, the vaccine, not vaccine, the bacteria and virus delivery hub is now actually functional. You can deliver a bio container to the delivery guy to get a reward. You'll get 22.5 uh, XP and some money. I mean, it is kind of worth it if you want to max out like I did a team, right? It is worth it. Right, maxing the team out, it's not a waste of time, is it? Also, another thing, the people who are being tased cannot be killed. Alright, so right now I'll show you how does the thing work, which I named a second ago. When you taste someone, they don't take damage. Um, basically, there's also handcuffs, which has been added. You can cuff people and place them to solitary after they killed facility personnel. I can't do that because the cat didn't kill anyone yet and he's not going to do that. But you just hold E on them and they'll get solitary. The more people you kill, the more you can get solitary for. This is most likely to stop the riots. Alright, as most of my teams are already maxed. I'm unable to show you up the rank up GUI, but basically each time you rank up, you'll see a pop-up alert, which will tell you that hey, you ranked up, and BCU gets uh, extra rewards for guarding the research hub. And that will be it for this entire update. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next episode. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.